Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to You Live Everything in Wonder. This is day number two in Lisboa, Lisbon, Portugal. It has been really emotional to be back here. And uh, let's start from the beginning. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. I'm here also. We are Luca, Sara, and Luce. A few months ago, Luca suffered from three strokes, and our lives changed forever. It's incredible how you can enjoy little things like this uh, so much. This year is all about the rebirth. Life is beautiful, and you only realize uh, how beautiful and how lucky you are when uh, you risk to lose everything. We started our 30 days road trip with our home on wheels, a brand new camper van, a Sunlight V60 Adventure Edition. Destination? Lisboa, Portugal! We are not used to new vehicles. <laughs> if you know our story, you know that we traveled from Alaska to Argentina in a very old vehicle, in a truck camper, 1990 truck camper. Uh, and then we have Luigi, we had Luigi, a small van that was 2000. Right? Yes, exactly. And then we recently bought a Mercedes printer that is 2007. Seven. Seven. Celebrate life. Every day is a gift. Therefore, we should make the best of it. Do what makes you happy by doing what you love. Okay, day number one was very emotional for Luca and Daddy Claudio because we went to visit Oh. Mm -hmm. His childhood memory and house, places. Uh, where basically I went uh, just after the hospital, Cruz Vermelha, where I was born. So it was and, nice. and the beach where I used to play. Yeah. Yes, uh, with pictures of me of uh, the uh, Lucha's age uh, playing on that beach. Good morning, Lisbon. Good morning beautiful people, we came uh, here at Avis to rent a car, a small car for two days uh, so we can visit uh, the nearby areas of Lisbon uh, with a small vehicle so we are waiting for the car right here to arrive uh, and then we will pick up uh, Lucia and Sara at the Airbnb and uh, start exploring you can already spot a few tram over here that's so nice okay i believe that's the car i believe that that one over there okay here's the car okay can i tell it yeah yeah very yeah, Virg. Let's go! Hey, princess! Different vehicle! Yeah. We are ready to hit the road, the four of us, uh, Daddy Claudio, Sara, Luce and I. We are all safe uh, now. We will turn the luce all the way around uh, like that. It's like a roller coaster. A little bit like this. Done. This morning is all about memories. Now our first destination will be Estoril, where we will find the first house where Luca lived here in uh, Lisbon with his family. Excited. <sighs> Narrow roads. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Estoril. Estoril, how quite now? So how far is Estoril from Lisbon? Uh, we took about uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So it is a small town outside, just outside Lisbon, right? Yeah, it's a residential area. But it's famous for the racetrack, the racetrack of Estoril, where they used to run the Formula One 
races. Claudio, you were working in Lisbon? Yes, four years. I was the managing director of Fiat Auto Portugal. Do you have good memories about that time? Fantastic memories. I loved living here. It was a good period for business uh, and for my family. We, we had Dario that was a, a baby and then Luca was born here and was very nice. Have you ever been here again after that, that time? Uh, once, yes. We were here once uh, many years ago. How do you feel about seeing your house again? I'm curious. I'm yeah. curious, yes, <laughs> to see how they change it. Say they if it's it. still there or if they build a new one. Uh, from Google Maps, uh, all the area, they build a lot of new um, mansions and villas. So it, it used to be the, one of the bigger ones uh, at, at that time. Uh, and now you look from Google Maps uh, yeah. and it just look one of many of the <laughs> huge mansions that are over there and uh, before we went there it used to be owned uh, by the um, was well, owned by a uh, Spanish uh, family and uh, she went uh, the, the, the lady lost her husband and she wanted to rent the house and the house was rented to the German ambassador before we rented it and it was a huge uh, house with an internal uh, internal elevator, a big terrace. Was that for that time, having a private elevator was uh, <laughs> a huge thing. Yeah. And also today, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Not <laughs> just not <laughs> that <of> time. <laughs> Luce, are you excited to see Daddy's home? First, first house. Mom. Which one, guys? That's the house. The one, the big one. Wow! With the... The castle up there. Yeah, yeah. kind of the castle. It's beautiful. It's still the same? Yes, they were made some renovation, but you can see the terrace. Uh, the, the, it was a huge villa. Yeah, and also my mother, she said that after we went away a few years later they built a swimming pool as well yes you can see it from uh, from google maps uh, you can see a, a swimming pool in that house that at the time uh, it didn't exist here we are still huge huh? wow it's still super big okay we have to stop because i don't know if okay. yeah i will find a parking spot yeah yes then we'll bring and we'll see here we have the pictures with uh, Luca and Dario going to school. Okay, so we arrived at this house. San Isabel. Uh, San Isabel, and we will try to ring and see if somebody. It was home. the same house, uh, the same name also? Yes, yes, yes. Probably, the, maybe the number was it was different. Uh? Yes, they changed the numbers. They, they changed the numbers because okay. probably they had uh, so many houses that uh, they had to change numbers. It was number ten uh, okay. at that point. So still now, when we put the uh, number ten, the big um, number, yeah. In Google Maps, uh, we put the road uh, number ten. It brought us here, but probably now they had to change the numbers. That Claudio will ring. They will think we are crazy. Stalkers. Stalkers. You want to sell something? Yeah. Okay, so basically the owners are not here but the home maid. the maid uh, was here she told us that uh, a portuguese family bought this house uh, from the spanish lady and uh, the the elevator is still working everything is still the same they only had uh, the swimming pool and of course uh, all the plants uh, look at these amazing huge cactus plants uh, are super old uh, and beautiful but uh, I mean, uh, amazing, really, really nice. They will be back uh, tonight. Uh, I left them a card, uh, 
so who knows imagine if you have planted a plant a <laughs> yeah a tree <laughs> So in every property that we will own, uh, we will plant uh, some trees. Uh, so yeah. in the future, we still have uh, Tulu in uh, in Tulum yeah, in new, uh, new Tulu. in <laughs> Mexico. A little, little, little uh, coconut tree that was super small. It fit in our pickup truck uh, in uh, La Quilu. and now they send us picture that it's taller than me. That uh, little uh, coconut tree. So three, three or four years ago now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they grow fast. <laughs> hey Lucia, would you like to plant a tree? Something? We planted when she uh, born. was born, we planted a fig tree yes. and a magnolia. Yes, uh, yeah. in uh, Lucky Land. Uh. Exactly. So we will see. She, she will see the plants grow, the trees grow. Eh? Amore. Okay, beautiful house. Anyways. Let's move to the next uh, adventure. Next now that white spot you cannot see it, but it's the sea because the light, uh, the sun, uh, and, and uh, from, uh, from, from the, the terrace uh, that it's up there, there is a beautiful view of the sea. So this was really, really amazing. Uh, the view from there, and it's starting to rain a little bit, <laughs> but it's sunny. On, there is, there is no, no clouds, clouds so. and it's raining. So it's weird. Yeah, probably for the wind, you know, it's so windy that, that it brings the some drops. Some drops. Wow, beautiful. Daddy, tell us about the story when <laughs> I fell. Luca was six months old, more or less, and I had a motorcycle, a Honda 450 naked. And in this uh, garden, that was the internal road. Yeah, there was that garage didn't exist. It was just a gate, and you enter. Entered, and, and then there was the internal road uh, with gravel. And I took the baby on uh, the tank, on the fuel tank, and I drove this uh, bike uh, on the gravel. Motorcycle. Motorcycle, and and then there was a uh, sharp turn. And in the turn, I fell down with Luca on the truck. So that, that was my first uh, motorcycle <laughs> accident at six months, six old. months old. I was smaller than you, Luca. <laughs> smaller than you, and I already, already had crashed. my first crash uh, with a motorcycle. So now you understand why that is a little bit... Uh, Followed by many, 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 many... many other crashes other, with motorcycles. Yes. <laughs> So this is one of the stories. And I remember going inside there to reach the beach. So let's try to go in there. Same way daddy used to do. Look at the beach. And we have many pictures of my brother and I down there on this beach. So let's have a walk here and let's see if I can get some memories. Do you remember something right now? Yeah, I, re I can <laughs> remember this for sure. I remember that and I remember playing in this little Ponds, yeah. exactly. Were you and your brother fishing in the ponds or trying of to play? Of course, yeah. trying to get the little crabs. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? He's laughing. Good morning. Very 
bellezza mia Ok, let's go up there The wind is super strong There is also some sand uh, together with the wind uh. What's going on? <laughs> And now we are at Cascais at Boca do Inferno. Lucia is sleeping, so she's inside the car with Sara. We are basically walking over here. And there is water coming inside there. And hear the noise. This is a Boca do Inferno. There is a lighthouse over there. A lot of seagulls, birds. Daddy Claudio is having a fish soup, I'm having a octopus salad. Ready full, and we are just starting. Some curry with the um, prawns with cream. Welcome you guys and say welcome back to this boat. The rainbow in the sky. Over the rainbow. Na -na. And what's the lunch? Delicious.
What's mommy doing? Bye. She was scared. You Oh my god. Vai più indietro, vai più indietro così. Mettitelo già sul sedere. Vai. <ride> Tutto nelle scarpe. <ride> Tutto nelle scarpe. <ride> Bravo nonno. <ride> Bravo nonno. He barely made it. This is the Atlantic Ocean. It's a violent, uh, yeah. wild uh, Atlantic we were, Ocean. We were talking about the differences between the Mediterranean, Mediterranean Sea, sea. Yeah. and the ocean. And the ocean, uh, it's uh, rough, uh, it's, uh, it's wild, dangerous. dangerous. Even the color is different. Yes. It's more grayish. Uh, yes. Gray. The Mediterranean is more like a swimming pool, it's uh, yes, clear. It's and a little, a little bit more uh, soft. Here they come for surfing. Yeah. What are you doing with mommy's sunglasses? We are leaving the coast and now we are driving direction Sintra. We are entering now the Sintra National Park and the scenery is completely different now. We are in a pine forest. With rocks, big rocks, it's really beautiful. We are going to visit now the Palazzo do Peña, the Peña Palace. It's very colorful. You will see now. We have to walk up there. All the way up there. You ready? Ah. Luce, are you ready? Oh. There are these eucalyptus trees. Uh, they are huge and you can feel the perfume of eucalyptus. It's beautiful. I love it. It's like uh, that essence uh, that you put in the sauna. On the rocks. Uh, eucalyptus on the rocks. Sauna. We should plant some eucalyptus. Yes, yeah, not at Lucky Land. I don't think uh, that at Lucky Land uh, they will survive. Not at Lucky Land, I mean in another place. At the seaside. The seaside, oh, yeah. in the future. <laughs> National Palace of Pena. We pay 7 euro 50 each for Luca and I, and 6 euro 50 for Daddy Claudio because it's yeah, over it's get, right? 60. And we didn't buy the ticket for the palace because we cannot enter with the stroller. Look at that. Look at that. And the park tour ends here. If you have the ticket for the palace, you can go further and explore the palace.
was wonderful. Inside it is even better, <laughs> but next time. <laughs> so this is a romanticist it's castle. Uh, eclectic. A lot of colors. Yeah. Romantic castle, but next time. And you can also see a beautiful view you of the ocean. The ocean from here. A lot of sections are under construction and they are renovating. Yeah, so hopefully next time when Lucia will be walking, uh, we will visit inside and they will not be renovating it. Now let's go back to the car because we need to explore more. <laughs> what? Cosa oggi basta? Our Airbnb, we need to explore the hot tub and uh, a hot shower, have dinner. Dinner? <laughs> Stasera ci mangiamo le vongole. <laughs> Your daddy said that you only think about food. Why not? Why not? I'm not sure if just visiting the park is worth it uh, for the, the price you pay. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe if you visit also the palace or if you visit something else inside the park, it's worth it. But only go for the palace I say outside you cannot even uh, go closer because at the first terrace you have to stop and from that point of view you don't see anything so it's better if you stay outside and you have the view from the distance it's better uh, I agree yeah yeah I'm happy to be back to our Taigo <laughs> Taigo Taigo <laughs> Luce also she's happy now let's go back home home yeah. where is home well, home is wherever you park Home I'm is freezing. wherever I'm with you. Home is wherever it's warm. We changed our mind. So instead of going back to the Airbnb, we will first stop in Belém to eat and to try the typical original pastel de nata or pastel de Belém. Because it was born here it was invented here it was created here and we will go to this famous bakery where they are famous for the pastel de nata this is a kind of egg uh, tart sweet egg tart but we will show you everything in a few seconds yeah nata nata means a cream, cream. yeah and uh, so pastel de nata is a cream pastel pastel is uh, like a pastry a pastry The Belém, pastéis is the plural. Pastel de Belém. This is where Great. everything started. Milk with chocolate, fresh, cold. Cheers. Cheers. Go Let's for try. it. Go for it. Crunchy outside. It's still hot. It's still hot. It's hot. Wow. Very crunchy. Very crunchy outside. And you have the cream that is still hot inside. Beautiful. It was delicious. Sarah wanted even one more. Yeah, but, but it's time to hit the road and, and again. Everybody stopped me from. But I'm really happy that we stopped here. Did I have a good idea? Yes, amazing idea. Good job. Claudio, We're already is? going to the car.
This is where the magic happens. The magic happens. <laughs> It's dark outside. Pastel de Belen. 1837. 1837. Belen. Nice. Done. Done. Good so time to see the tower and the monument, probably, because it's dark already. So I don't know if it's. We will go back or we will just drive through and we'll see the, 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 the monument from the car. Yeah, we will not be in this area. No, no we more. are. Belém is just 20 minutes outside Lisbon, 50 minutes outside. And we are in the city center, in the historical old town, in downtown Lisbon. So tomorrow the plan is to go and visit downtown and some monuments in downtown. So we will not be driving the car probably. But it was amazing today. The moon up there. And there is a star over here, two stars. The moon, a beautiful building. Okay, now we will see this beautiful monument, uh, which uh, the name is. Uh, Padrão dos Descobrimentos. That means? Uh, the Padrão uh, is the owner, the boss okay. uh, of uh, the discoveries. Padrão, como eu diria que se empresa? The leader of the discoveries. We have the bridge uh, which we crossed uh, to get to Lisbon when we arrive in Lisbon and over there there is the huge big uh, statue of the Christ beautiful beautiful evening beautiful day good evening beautiful people we are back at the Airbnb Luce is going to sleep right now and uh, today was a really intense day it was full of emotions uh, beautiful to see the house and the places where I grew up uh, the three years uh, of uh, the first uh, three years of my life uh, now we are super tired we are going to sleep uh, it was a beautiful day thank you for watching uh, we will see you next Sunday with the second part uh, of uh, the tour of Lisbon uh, so stay tuned uh, we love you thank you so much for watching uh, we will see you next Sunday and remember la vita è bella life is beautiful and love always wins ciao love you